guys, it's Katie with String Expert. Today we're working on the G major scale and we're practicing the scale with some different rhythms. Now remember, rhythms are so important in order to play the violin because when we play music, sometimes we play things in a lot of different rhythms, sometimes we play music faster or slower, and so what this does is it allows us to train very carefully and methodically in terms of building strength and agility in our hand, so then when we play a piece in the same key signature as G major, we're going to be able to play it fast and well as well. So when we play this piece, what we're going to do is we're going to start out by playing our first note really, really long. And take your time with this first note. We want to think about all of our long bows being super long and expressive. Then we're going to play two short bows, and the goal with those is to play them as short as possible. Then we're going to do two more long bows and then two more short bows. So let's try this. So we have long, short, short, long is the rhythm. So we have open G for the long note. A and B are going to be short. And then C is going to be long and so is D. E and F sharp are going to be short. And then G is going to be long. We're going to do another long bow for G to go back down. F sharp and E are short. Open D and C are long. Open G is also long. Let me play that for you nice and smooth. Now what I want you to do is switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to play short, long, long, short. So the open G is going to be short, and in order to bow this correctly so we don't run out of bow, we're going to start in the upper half of the bow and go down for the first note, and then we have enough bow to make the next two ones nice and long. So it's going to be short for the G. And then A and B are going to be nice and long. And then C and D are going to be short. And then E and F sharp are going to be long. G is going to be short. And then we're going to do another short note for G again. And then F sharp and E are going to be long. And then D and C are going to be short. F sharp and, or I'm sorry, B and A are going to be long. And then G will be short again. So let's try that without me talking. major scale. I hope you enjoyed learning with me today. Keep practicing. I know this is not an easy rhythm. It's actually really difficult, but it's really going to help you in terms of your overall playing and your ability to master any piece of music that comes in front of you. We'll see you next time at String Expert.